noticed you won't leave me alone. Can you get Go. You gotta get a little more. All right, come up. Hey, Mr. Parker. All right. Right behind. All right, yep. Break. Uh, you put your band on it and see, and this is a cap that just caps off the end of the, that pipe, and you can push that all the way, all the way on there. You got you take your impact drill, tighten it up. And now these bands, they have a certain amount of poundage that it gets torqued to. See, like these bands have 80 pounds. 80 pounds of tightening before so it will seal. So you, when you put it on there, you take your torque wrench and you tighten it up until you hear it click. When you hear it click, that's when you know it's tightened up enough. Like that. Because if you go too tight, it can pop those bands off and cause it to leak throughout around the rubber. 
that's how we join our waste pipe together. If we gotta, ha if we have to run down a far length away or make a bunch of turns, that's how we connect them together. And can you show you, Kyle? Are you showing the sink? Show them the sink. Not okay. Anything over there. Do you want to see how we solder copper together? Yeah. So what are you soldering? Hi, Kaylin. You want to make sure you clean off the copper really well. If you got it cleaned off. If you can see that's what that copper used to look like. Now it looks brand new. You don't have to worry about anything getting stuck on the way on there. And we take our fittings and do the same thing with the fittings. And you clean it off with the wire brush. See, like, this is just like a cap. So we got our flux. Put it on both sides of the pipe. You want to put it on the, the, what you're soldering and on this too. So what that does, once that gets heated up, it will draw. It will draw this to go inside that cap, and that cap only goes around the outside of that fitting. Is what it is. So that's what it does afterwards. We want to fill that gap in between the pipe and the fitting to make sure it doesn't leak. You so see, you have your torch. And this has a lot lower melting point than the copper does. So what you're doing You want to keep the torque, the flame moved around it so you don't burn one side of the copper. Because if you hold the heat too long on copper, it loses its rigidness. It can become softer and can bend or break. So you want to make sure you move the pipe, move the flame around the fitting. And it just sucks it right in. That's all it is. Oh. Now that'll hold 200 pounds worth of pressure. Do you want to have a solder? I do. <laughs> Actually, yeah. How's it going? Good, how are you doing? Yeah. Have you guys done this before? I have. Not to this extent. The last time I did something like this. Thank you. 